Hello and welcome to an unscripted moment, December 12th, 2017. Today, I want to talk about prepping, preparedness, preparedness for a post-collapse situation. So when we think of prepping, we think of things like uh, storing food long term, storing water and having the ability to purify water, collect and process water. We, we think about um, long term food solutions, you know, growing gardens, uh, livestock, things along those nature that nature. And uh, those are all very important things. We also think about um, you know, means of defense, guns, being proficient in their use, storing them, storing ammunition, and again, those are important things as well. We think about physical fitness, attempting to get more physically fit, and though that is important also. But the most important thing, in my opinion, the number one prepping solution is spiritual preparedness right because without that we really have nothing to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior to put your trust and your faith in him that you know he came to this earth sent by the Father to live and die a sinless life to pay the sin debt for humanity so that each and every one of us could have eternal life with him the Bible says that the only way to heaven is through the Son through Jesus Christ and so that's important we have to avail ourselves of that free gift we have to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ we have to believe that the promises that were made in the Bible were true and without that that all that other stuff really means nothing. When we think about, you know, preparing in the physical realm, all those things, well, that's important. And that's important to extend our life here on Earth, especially in a survival situation. And to extend it a few more days, a few more weeks, a few more months, a few more years. It is important. And ultimately, he will carry me through those times. And ultimately, I'm going to pass away when his will plans for me to pass away but I'm gonna do everything I can to extend that time here on earth because we're commanded to spread the gospel to tell everybody about the Lord and about his amazing gift of salvation and the longer that I can prolong my stay here on earth the more people I can reach the more people I can tell more people I can lead to the Lord and so you know there's a promise from the Lord how to obtain that personal that personal salvation eternal salvation there's promises how to do that and I trust that those promises are true and I trust that that's gonna happen but again we have a part in that as well we have responsibility and as a Christian our responsibility again is to go forth into all nations and preach the gospel to every creature so that's what we got to try to do and again the longer we're here you know the better chance we have of being effective at that so I think it's important that we all concentrate on that aspect we look at what the Bible tells us about our lives. You know, it says your our life is but a vapor. So in the scheme of eternity, in the, the realm of eternity, time span, what do we live here on earth? 80 years, 100 years, 60 years, whatever it is. That's just the vapor. That's just the flash in the pan of eternity's time. So what is a 100 year span in there? it's nothing it's it's just a like the bible says a vapor poof there it is here and gone and here today gone tomorrow and so that preparedness that physical preparedness again it's important because it aids in the overall mission of telling people about the lord 
But if we don't have that assurance of eternal salvation, then really what are we preparing for? We have nothing. And in life, even even not in a end time situation or a post collapse survival situation, even just today in a normal everyday functional world life, that's important. And those all those things are still true. You know, without that assurance, we have nothing, even as the world functions. So think about that. Again, I think it's very important. I just hope that people will avail themselves of that and study on it and concentrate on it and, and live it. Thank you all. God bless you.